Hi, my name is Pip and this is my review of Brene Brown's The Power of Vulnerability. I listen to this book as an audiobook. One of the things I really love about audiobooks is there are certain types of books that really lend themselves to being read by the author and this is one of those books because Brene is clearly very passionate about the research she does and I found this book to be extremely interesting. She talks about how people often associate vulnerability and being vulnerable with being weak and with topics of shame and yet the ability to be vulnerable with someone is where you get the deeper connection with someone, it's where you get an authentic relationship to be built. She does definitely make a point that someone doesn't just deserve your uh, inner secrets, you don't have to just make yourself vulnerable with someone, they have to earn that. So uh, you obviously just don't vomit up everything that's ever happened to you in your life when you meet someone but you need to be willing to go to a place of vulnerability and that a failure to be vulnerable really impacts things like authentic connection and a sense of belonging. What I find really particularly interesting about Brene's work and again with this book is that a lot of her findings, well all of her findings are based in research and for me that's fascinating because I always think of emotions as being these kind of deeply personal, unquantifiable things and yet her research is extremely clear, even to the point where I think sometimes uh, it makes her a little bit uncomfortable because, you know, her, uh, her own personal ways of self-protection, of self-preservation um, sometimes conflict with the research and so she's had to do some personal growth and some acknowledgement of her own issues as well. But to me it was just really interesting how how direct the research was and how inarguable it was. One of my favorite Brene Brown quotes is, vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation, creativity and change. I think if you look at where we are in the world right now, there is so much conflict and there are so many challenges that we're facing. America's having a huge moment with all the impeachment things that are happening. Hong Kong's having a massive moment. Uh, globally there's a huge movement about climate change and climate emergency with, you know, like Australia being on fire, Victoria Falls drying up, uh, floods in other parts of the world, inadequate ice formation in uh, the north, so the polar bears are having to go inland in towards where people live to try and find food to survive. So that quote from Brene really, I think, means more to me when you look at it in context of the whole world and what we're going through. Like you look at someone like Greta Thunberg and what she is doing and the power of one person. Like she has repeatedly made herself vulnerable and she has been obviously attacked by people from all different corners, but she is willing to repeatedly make herself vulnerable in order to get her message across and there's a power to that and there's a power to what she's done in then making it okay for other people to speak and giving them a voice and she's slapped some people awake and she I mean, what she has achieved as a 16 year old is really incredible and i think that when you look at how vulnerability is an important part of the creative process and we're going to need to be creative to solve some of the problems we've got going uh on at the moment then looking at greta is a is a great example of why that quote from brene is just so on point. So I think that this book about vulnerability and the importance of vulnerability and learning about shame, th the importance of that really just can't be understated and when you listen to it as an audiobook it's kind of in an interesting format so it's done as like sessions, like they were recorded at sessions that Brene does um, when she presents around the world. For example, session three was about empathy and vulnerability. I really liked this kind of layout. I thought it was different, but I also learned a lot from it. So I think that we all often, you know, when we're asked to describe someone, you say things like, oh, they have great empathy and all of this sort of stuff. But I think actually really having strong definitions of shame and empathy and vulnerability and sympathy and things like that. I think most of the time empathy is actually quite rare 
and it's really important and um, I think really learning to understand what empathy actually is and how to be empathetic to other people's situations uh, is just so important and that is for me the thing that I really took away from from uh, this book and it's made me think a little bit more about my interactions with people and take a breath before you say something and really think about how sometimes you can say something to someone and not mean anything negative by it and it's just the choice of words that you use that they can hold on to those words forever and they can attach huge amounts of shame to um, the way they feel about whatever it was that you're commenting on and that can be really hard for someone to let go and that can really affect their life. My two favorite quotes from this book are if you put shame in a petri dish it only needs three things to grow exponentially secrecy, silence and judgment and shame cannot grow nor can it thrive in an environment of empathy. Like I said before I think a lot of the time people actually mistake sympathy for empathy and I think that a lot of what causes turmoil in our personal lives that uh, crushes us and strangles us slowly is shame and that can create an awful lot of pain and, and destruction in people's lives and it can really hinder the creative process. So it was really interesting to actually listen to that be articulated so beautifully and to completely agree with what she was saying and then have it backed up by research. I think that shame comes so easily and and you can, like I said, just make a throwaway comment and you've created shame in somebody. So this book, I, I really enjoyed it and I think it's a super important book for people to read, especially if you want to understand the human experience more, if you want to interact um, in a more healthy way in your own life with other people, with your family. I think this is super important. I it totally made me think twice in the way that I talk to my niece. Um, like when you're trying to say to a, a little kid, you know, you don't want them to exhibit that behavior because of X, Y, Z. And I think a lot of the time we put shame on them in the way that we, we do that. And so it's really made me think. I think it's a great book. I think um, it's a very interesting topic. And I think that it's going to be confronting for a lot of people. But I don't think that that's a bad thing. Um, there's a lot to learn here. And I, I think Brene's research really is fascinating and really extremely powerful. And I definitely recommend that you check out this book.